Step 1. Learn vocabulary. Alternate. To alternate means to switch back and forth between two things. The best exercise alternates muscle and heart strengthening. Apologetic. If someone is apologetic, they are sorry about something. The boy felt apologetic after losing his sister's favorite toy. Benign. If something or someone is benign, they do not hurt anyone. Many spiders look scary, but most are actually benign. Char. To char means to burn something so that it turns black. While Frank went inside to get the mustard, he accidentally charred the hot dogs. Clarify. To clarify means to make something easier to understand by explaining it. Drew tried to clarify all the functions of Michelle's new computer. Distress. Distress is the feeling of being upset or worried. Failing a class caused the student a lot of distress. Dogged. When someone's actions are dogged, they try hard to continue something. Her dad bought her a new jacket after her dogged request for one. Ensue. To ensue means to happen after something. After a few minutes of lightning, thunder ensued. Gasp. To gasp means to make a noise by quickly breathing in when surprised. John always gasps when watching a scary movie. Negotiate. To negotiate means to try to make an agreement through discussion. Mario and Joe took a long time negotiating the contract between the companies. Overdose. An overdose is an instance of taking or having too much of something. John's skin was burned from an overdose of sunshine. Persuasion. Persuasion is the act of making someone do or believe something. The persuasion of his argument convinced the customer to buy the laptop. Relay. A relay is a race in which teams of runners or swimmers race against each other. Jerry was the fastest on his team, so he ran the last part of the relay. Reluctance. Reluctance is a feeling of not wanting to do something. Jesse took out the trash with great reluctance. Restate. To restate something means to say it again or in a different way. Mrs. Jones restated the test question to the class. Sesame. Sesame is an herb that is grown for its small seeds and its oil. I used the buns with the sesame seeds on them. Sip. To sip something means to drink a small amount at a time. Liza relaxed on the beach sipping fruit juice through a straw. Verge. The verge is the point at which something is about to happen. Joan was on the verge of leaving her house when the phone rang. Wary. If someone is wary, they are cautious or mistrusting. She was wary of going to school because she hadn't done her homework. Waver. To waver is to be unable to decide between two choices. I wavered between eating the apple or the cake for a snack. Step 2. Listen to the story without subtitles. A bet. Russell finished running a relay and joined his friend Becky in the cafeteria. He asked, what's for lunch? Sesame chicken. It's okay except the meat's charred. Oh, and watch out for the chili peppers, Becky said. Chilies don't bother me, said Russell. My stepmother says you should be careful with them, replied Becky. An argument ensued about eating chilies. Chilies aren't so bad. I bet I can take more bites of this chili than you, Russell said. Becky was wary of eating the pepper. Despite her reluctance, she didn't want to say no to the bet. She wavered about whether to do it or not. She negotiated the details. What will the winner get? She asked. The loser has to carry the winner's books for a year. I'll even let you go first. Becky replied, fine, but to clarify, 
You'll carry my books for the entire school year, right? Russell restated the agreement. That's right. I'll carry your books all year if you win, which you won't. His dogged persuasion convinced her. The chili looked benign, but Becky knew it could cause a lot of pain. She bit the bottom of the pepper. Surprisingly, she felt nothing. My turn, said Russell. He bit the middle of the chili. Immediately, he seemed to be in distress. He gasped, and his face alternated between brave and pained expressions. He experienced an overdose of spice. He was on the verge of tears and finally let out a horrible cry. Take this, said Becky, handing him her drink. That was awful, he said, continuing to sip from the glass. That night, Becky researched chilies. The next day, she said in an apologetic voice, I read that the hot part of chilies is in the middle, where the seeds are. I'm sorry, I feel like I cheated by going first. Russell was relieved. Not only did he learn something new about chilies, but he learned that Becky was a good friend. Step 3. Listen to the story with subtitles. A bet. Russell finished running a relay and joined his friend Becky in the cafeteria. He asked, what's for lunch? Sesame chicken. It's okay except the meat's charred. Oh, and watch out for the chili peppers, Becky said. Chilies don't bother me, said Russell. My stepmother says you should be careful with them, replied Becky. An argument ensued about eating chilies. Chilies aren't so bad. I bet I can take more bites of this chili than you, Russell said. Becky was wary of eating the pepper. Despite her reluctance, she didn't want to say no to the bet. She wavered about whether to do it or not. She negotiated the details. What will the winner get? She asked. The loser has to carry the winner's books for a year. I'll even let you go first. Becky replied, Fine, but to clarify, you'll carry my books for the entire school year, right? Russell restated the agreement. That's right. I'll carry your books all year if you win, which you won't. His dogged persuasion convinced her. The chili looked benign, but Becky knew it could cause a lot of pain. She bit the bottom of the pepper. Surprisingly, she felt nothing. My turn, said Russell. He bit the middle of the chili. Immediately, he seemed to be in distress. He gasped, and his face alternated between brave and pained expressions. He experienced an overdose of spice. He was on the verge of tears and finally let out a horrible cry. Take this, said Becky, handing him her drink. That was awful, he said, continuing to sip from the glass. That night, Becky researched chilies. The next day, she said in an apologetic voice, I read that the hot part of chilies is in the middle, where the seeds are. I'm sorry, I feel like I cheated by going first. Russell was relieved. Not only did he learn something new about chilies, but he learned that Becky was a good friend. Step 4. Answer the questions. 1. Why did Becky take the bet in spite of her reluctance? 2. Why did Russell have to restate the terms of the bet? 3. How did Becky know that Russell was in distress and had an overdose of spice after he ate the pepper? 4. Who warned Becky about chilies? 5. What did Russell do after he ate the chili? Bonus! Mark each statement T for true or F for false. Rewrite the false statements to make them true. 1. Becky was having charred sesame chicken for lunch. 2. The argument ensued because Becky wavered about whether to run the relay. 3. After Russell and Becky negotiated the bet, they decided that whoever lost would carry the winner's books for a year. 4. Russell was wary about eating the pepper even if it looked benign. 5. Becky was apologetic because of her choice to take the first bite of the pepper. Answer key. Answer the questions. 1. Becky took the bet because of Russell's dogged persuasion. 2. Russell had to restate the terms to clarify for Becky. 3. Becky knew Russell was in distress because he gasped, then his expressions alternated between pained and brave, and he was on the verge of tears. 4. Becky's stepmother warned her to be careful with chilies. 5. Russell sipped from the beverage. Bonus. 1. T. 2. 
F. The argument ensued about eating chilies. 3. T. 4. F. Becky was wary about eating the pepper even if it looked benign. 5. F. Becky was apologetic because she felt like she cheated by taking the first bite.